This is how you know that she's the Tomb Raider now. Because she can hot swap. Proficient weapon handling. Seriously. Look at that. Wow. It's like, like some gun kata. <laughs> she should go on the road with this. Gun boy, handgun. Okay. All right. Spin the camera at the same time. <laughs> she could really go. I remember in the first game, like it just took, you know, a matter of seconds to swap from like a. <laughs> A bow to like a handgun. Now she's just like, sorry, I just can't stop. <laughs> I wish I had a fourth weapon to really increase the. Okay, let's I mean, raid. Let's raid some two. Okay, is that like you know like scare the shit out of enemies? I, I, would, I would be scared. I would certainly be frightened. Yeah, like you know somebody starts swinging a nunchuck around. Like I'm pretty freaked out. She's swinging around a bow with a fucking. Wow. Learning languages. Ancient languages just kind of left around. Uh, from this totem, mm -hmm. I learned the ancient art of uh, stringing people up from branches. Oh with, my god! With bow and arrow. Oh, I thought those were bodies up there. No, those are not my. That's not my handiwork. That's uh, the ancient art passed down from was, generation to generation. It Holy! Like, it was like that when I got here, man. Oh god! I swear I had nothing to do with it. Uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. It's the third Tomb Raider game it is. ever made. Right, yeah, ever, we don't, we don't... Ever in history. We don't count those earlier ones. Uh, piranhas are bad. That's my understanding. They're pretty cute. That's what the game says. Okay. Under, underwater stealth. Of course. I gotta stealth my way past these piranhas. Wow, that's... I don't think I've ever seen that. Uh... You remember, remember Sonic the Hedgehog? Yep. Yeah. This is like that. <laughs> Just like that. Remember that? Um... Grabbing a breath like that? Yeah. Uh, tell me what you remember of the, the other two, too. Oh games. man, that, oh, that's a tall order. Uh -oh. uh, I remember liking the uh, the first one yeah. uh, an awful lot. Yeah. Uh, I remember playing through the second one, but, and I didn't want to sit in those, on this quick look because I could not remember ah. anything that happened in really? the second one. Not as I, big a fan? Not as big of a really? fan, uh, I guess. That's interesting, that's the complete opposite for me. I, oh, really? I, I like the first one fine. Okay. But I, the, the they didn't go open world in the second one, but it got more open. Yeah. Like, I, I just, I like freedom to tool around and do stuff, mm -hmm. you know? I like I like having side stuff to do. Oh, totally. Uh, in addition to the main quest, and they added a lot more of that. In the yeah, second. I just really like, you know, what the reboot did. Ah, oh, no! Oh, no! no Brothers! String him up! I can't, I, I was almost in the grass. Raid him! Oh. oh, God! Oh, is it gonna get super graphic? I was really hoping that swimming into the grass would make them just leave me alone. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, we lost her, where'd she go? <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I really like what the first, or, yeah, the, okay, yeah, the first one, we call it the first one, right? Yeah, we, we all know the, what we're talking about. The first one about. of this, of the, oh no! No! Good God, man. Uh, well. What it rebooted, and, like, how it presented itself, and you could tell that, like, they were on the right track to doing something yeah. very special. Yeah. Uh, this one is very much like the second one. Okay. Hang on, let me... Not that I didn't like the second one, I just, I don't... I don't remember. I don't know what uh, was going on in my were, world. You were in, let's see, mostly in the mountains. It was yeah. Siberia, I yeah. think? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I like mean, there was, a, there was a, an old Soviet installation, and then yep. you went up into the mountains, and then there was a, the MacGuffin granted immortality. Yep. That's what they were looking for. Mm -hmm. Trinity is the, the evil Illuminati-esque organization that you're yeah. working against. No! I've, God damn it! Oh, jeez. I thought I could make it. Fish! Damn it. <sighs> Don't they know who you are? Yeah, seriously. Who you've become. Got what you've gone speed. through. I cast a long shadow now as the Tomb Raider. <laughs> um, are they on a... Yep, I was about to say, they're on a route. Okay. Let's just wait for these fish to go by. Okay. Right. They went by. Okay. Let's get the F out of here. Yes. Uh, these get the fish out of here. Swimming sequences have not been my favorite. Oof. Fisher on a round. Uh, this one is set, uh, it starts out in Mexico briefly for the intro, but then you pretty quickly move down to, if you're down in Central South America. Okay. Um, There's lots of tombs down there. Trinity is still the bad. Sure, yeah, they didn't really wrap that up. Oh god, I need air. Holy crap, I... There's some air. Totally... Hold on, Laura. Hard to, hard to talk and play. <gasps> That's the curse. Um, oh jeez, what's that, that shank on her back? It's like fucking duct tape and some yeah. metal blade. She's, she's seen some stuff. She comes prepared to do the dirt necessary. <laughs> to raid tombs. Yeah. And also kill everybody that gets in her way. Right. Like, she's pretty savage in this game. 
Um, oh, wow. So she really bungles it up at the beginning of this game. Okay. She finds an artifact, and removing the artifact initiates a slow motion apocalypse. I'm sorry. Like, not not just the boulder coming down and running after her. No, no. Like I an mean, actual it's like, apocalypse. It's okay. like it's like a tsunami appears immediately after she picks up this dagger. Holy man! Uh, earthquakes are happening. Supposedly the sun is going to die at some point. Well, yeah, at some point, um, but not like. So she just sped it up. They kind of. It seems like I, I'm. This is only a few hours into the game. I, I don't know how the story's going to end up. It seems like they're kind of trying to go build in this direction of like. Hey. Uh oh. Don't do that. Maybe trying to criticize her for her tomb raiding ways, hmm. but I don't know how far they're going to go in that direction. But definitely, like there is some, there's some sense that some of the people that you are meeting might think you're kind of an asshole <laughs> for all the tomb raiding you're doing. All the tomb raiding, and not, uh, not necessarily the murders. Not, no, no, everybody's yeah, fine with murdering cool bad with guys. Apparently, oh, yeah, base camp. Uh, this is Omicron team. We've been ambushed. Base camp, come in. Anything? Speaking Quiet. Of murder. I need to hear. <laughs> Okay. Let's try out this new uh, stealth kill ability that Let's I have. String him up. <laughs> Fucking. As the horror movie music plays. Yeah, okay. she doesn't really. Oh, They're here. They're here. <laughs> Ghosts of the jungle have this come to like rip out our innards. This guy's not taking any chances. Yeah. Uh, oh. Just spray into the bush. What the hell of a way to go? Yeah. Jeez. Um. So yeah, you, you find the dagger, things go start going badly, but then they take the dagger, they being the bad guys. Mm -hmm. uh, there's also a box that you need to insert the dagger into to achieve some kind of ultimate power. Yeah. So now both she and the bad guys are looking for the box. Okay. That's where we're at right now. Who's got the dagger now? Uh, the bad guy. Bad guys have the dagger. Yes. Um... Shit, I lost my radio in the crash. This guy just lost his radio. Mm, he's about to lose. <laughs> it's like more than that. Oh, clearly a bad guy. Oh, he's got a helmet. Yeah, and skull face paint. Yeah. Oh, what? Somebody else is raiding tombs. What was that? What? What? Ser seriously? What was? That? Okay. Yeah, that, is that a chupacabra? It was bad. Whatever it was, it was bad. Worse than you? That monster forgot to loot that guy's corpse. <laughs> For a loss of my game. All full up. Can't carry any more. Um. All right, let's move on here. I rolled my save back a little bit because uh, I wanted to show some combat in this quick look because mm -hmm. there's been very little combat so far. Really? Which I'm that's fine with. I feel like the first two games were very heavy on the they combat. They were, yeah, extremely combat heavy. That's why it's yeah. so strange to. Yeah, so it, huh. they you know they, they may backload it with Tell a lot more happened. than I've seen so far. Yeah, oh, maybe. Um, but this right here is like the biggest That's and most helpful. elaborate hey, combat area I think I've seen in the game wow. so far. Can you zip up there like Spider Man? Yeah. yeah. Just yeah, she's pretty screaming. pretty agile. <laughs> wow. Also, these guys over there don't really <laughs> seem to notice savage. the commotion so much. Okay. Back up there while he's dead. He might still be alive. Yeah, sure. yeah. I can still see them. You okay now? Double tap with the bow. Oh, can I do it again? God, I so. so they they do have a cool feature. So you rely on this Tomb Raider sense way too much for reasons that I'll get into more later. Okay. Uh, but one thing that I do like about it is this color coding on the guys. Mm-hmm. Uh, when they're yellow, it means you can safely stealth kill them and nobody will notice. Awesome. When they're, when they're red, it means somebody will notice. Awesome. Uh, because, like, a lot of games play so fast and loose with that, you know, like yep. what the awareness of enemies is and can they see or not, and you don't really know, so... I can still... I, in this case, I really don't mind just having them tell me, yeah, it's safe to do this. Actually, yeah. Spider-Man does the same thing. Yeah, Spider-Man does the same thing, Spider -Man, but they only Spider -Man. have, like, a, like, a textual icon. Yeah, it'll say safe or danger, I yep. think. But, but, yeah, actually, I, I appreciate that. Uh, oh. I mean, it's very video gamey, but whatever. That's yeah, what we're playing here. But I mean, what an what an enemy can and can't see is so arbitrary and yeah, hard, hard to read anyway. Yeah, I really, it really doesn't bother me. Oh no! Oh well, he, he was now he's yellow again. He's, oh, it's fine. Oh, huh. okay. Well, let's hit yourself, I guess. Okay. Who needs it? I also have guns. Oh, hello. Yeah. Ah, I got the old no. Oh, wow. 
It's actually the first time I've died in the game. <laughs> I guess you go down pretty quick. Uh, you do have a healing item, which I was not fast enough to use there. The curse of the quick look. Um, yes. Claims another. I swear to God, it happens more than you would think. <laughs> um, Beta team, backup is on its way. Stay back! I'm warning you! Stay oh, we have to do all this again. Ah, ah. Okay. Same spot. Okay. Okay. Easy. Calm down. Can you tell us what happened? All I saw. Different mm -hmm. Another day at the office. Yep. They hit us. I've done this a thousand times. Screaming. Bones. It's over. Find no You're more safe. joy in it. Well, if I had a silencer for my pistol, we're dead. Ball. Just the we're dead. It's all right. Jaded Tomb it's all Raider. Good. That works also. Yep, quite well. We just need to wait it out <laughs> until the perfected. reinforcements arrive. Um, and you can still loot their bodies to get your yeah, yeah, arrows yeah. back and stuff. Oh gosh, yes. Yeah. We'll, we'll talk about loot in a little bit. Good okay. lord. Um, let's see. How do I want to deal? Oh, I can't find People that one. have been in the jungle too long. It's messing with their heads. Oh, not that one either. Find any of these? Surely one of these. Can't let them get me the way they got the others. Use your Lara vision. Where is he? He's up there. I just I want oh, to okay. get up on. He's got a that, that guy has a helmet, so I can't headshot him. I think there's got to be some rational explanation for what they saw. What if you offer him a drink? Oh, I can I get right home? there? Yeah. Yeah, nice. Oh, oh hey. <laughs> okay, mm. cool. Um, does that guy have a helmet? I think he does. That guy was just watching him burn go. I know. Well, sucks to be you guys. No, no helping you now. Uh, uh, oop. Uh oh. Hello. <laughs> Dumb face. <laughs> Jeez. It's not enough to kill these guys. She has to like burn them to death. Right. Oop. Oh, he was juking you for a second. Oh. Okay. We're here. Give us 60 seconds and we're in. It'll be too late. Oh. Oh. oh, I hear someone. What? Another chupacabra. Yeah, I think they'll, they'll be taken care of. Oh, yeah, you can. Look these guys. Yeah, what kind um, of stuff are you picking up? I'll, I'll, I'll show you that in a second. We're... This is a pretty like kind of tightly constrained story sort of sequence here. Sure, uh, okay. we'll get we'll get back out of the more openish parts here. of the game here. In a second. Maybe in the direction they came from. Oh, yes. There is there is a, a bit more to the stealth than you see here. Like you can cover yourself with mud in some parts okay. to make yourself harder to see, like predator style. Kind of. Then there's like muddy walls you can get up against next to that uh, you're more camouflaged. Cool. Um, <laughs> Stuff like that. Kind of like this. Actually, I like their little okay. mud. I like the mud trails. I like making. Oh, that's really good mud. Yeah, it's nice. And we're on the Xbox One X here. They've uh, they've got a 60 FPS mode on. In this version, I know the PS4 Pro also has a performance mode. I don't know if it's a full 60. I don't know if it's right. this smooth. This is. Uh, but very good looking. Yeah, I've I'm very impressed with the visuals on console. It's a good looking game. God, bodies everywhere. Oh, like you give a shit, just lady. Them. But why? She just wants their stuff. Jonah, right. Abby. Hey, Laura. I saw something. Trinity is being hunted by some kind of creature. It's a chupacabra, isn't it? It made hissing sounds and moved so fast. Laura, that sounds like the legend of the Pistaco. Stop You're pulling our legs. No, I know what I saw. Are you safe? Yeah, I'm on my way back. Very safe. She dives into piranha infested <laughs> waters. Oh. Alright. Oh. oh, that looks really good. Yeah, it does. It really does. Okay. Let me 
to snug up my ponytail and get back to murdering. What are those two? There you go. Oh, weird. Oh, wow. That's <laughs> totally a challenge. Good to know. You never would have known that. Uh, so back to base camps. This may, yeah, this may jog your memory a bit from the second game, mm -hmm. from Rise of the Tomb Raider, because it, it is the exact same model again. Oh sure. Uh, if you got base camps around, you can uh, spend your skill points Ooh. there. I have a lot of skill points. How many tiers we got? I got three different. Uh, what if I could hold my breath longer? What if underwater? What, uh, if, what if you could bite the piranhas? What if I could do stealth kills without alerting nearby enemies? Huh. Okay. What if you could hug like a puma? Uh, outfits again, of course. Oh, you can you know you can also upgrade your stuff. Very similar. Uh, outfits have some of these are from the Croft edition, which is the kind of expensive version okay. of the game. Uh, you know, some of them have like XP bonuses or harder to see in stealth, blah blah oh. blah, so on and so forth. Yep. Oh wow. Uh, Remember that? Maybe. Remember that? That's, it's kind of cool. Long I think it's kind of cool that they put these in here. Yeah, I agree. And it's nice that you don't have to like beat the game first in order to use. Yeah, like, so, some of these came in because I had played the previous games on Xbox. Like cool. it checked my profile, which is kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, it's like, oh, I see you like murdering people and raiding tombs. Whoa. Cool. Bonus XP from stealth kills. Okay, Tactical. sure. I'll give that a shot. Uh. And then, is now, this, I think now's maybe the best time to fast travel. So basically, you know, very similar, kind of big open spaces, lots of stuff to collect. Okay. Not like true open world, but right. you know, it's, 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 it's still, a guided open world. Yeah, sure. yeah, because, you know, these are still kind of hallways when, yep. you get, when you get down to it, but, uh, and then you can um, fast travel to any uh, previous base camp. Gotcha. Which I find very amusing because... This is the opening area of the game in Mexico. Oh, yeah. And I could fast travel back there at any time, even though the storyline is that our plane crashed down here in the jungle and we're trying to get back <laughs> to civilization. <laughs> like, we have barely gotten out of the jungle after losing our mode of transportation, but you can magically go back here whenever you Video like. game. Yeah. yeah. All the answers. Video game magic. Yes. Um, so it. I'm going to, speaking of magic, I'm going to magically go to this other part of the jungle here. Uh, where's a good place to go? Something with mud. Let's see your good There's definitely some dirty mud around. Um, I mean, I was gonna go back. I mean, you, you hunt animals, you gather plants. Mm -hmm. You know, there's there's challenges. There's like stuff to do as you're roaming around. Uh, and then there's a ton of optional side tombs, from what I've seen. That's what I'm super. Which interested is the in. thing that That's like they so like the that was the big the big letdown for me in the first game was that it was like very linear and oh, very story man. driven yep. and there wasn't a lot of just like let's stop and just like plumb these ancient ruins, right. you know, like it was very much driven by the plot. So the uh, the second game added those, I think they called them challenge tombs, like they literally were like a side quest type. Yeah, uh, and it was definitely a step up in the yeah, right direction. Yeah, and those were like one of my favorite parts of that game. Yeah. Uh, so they seem to have leaned more into that here. That's good. But I, I've been skipping a lot of them because I knew we would have to do this quick look and you can't redo them obviously once you finish them, so. Seems like, yeah, each iteration they've been getting better about, you know, the yeah. actual tomb yeah, that you're reading. The main story has also had a fair amount of, like, ancient stonework puzzle type stuff, if you're looking for more of that. Okay. But, uh, let's see. So here's a tomb. There's there's tombs and there's also... Tombs. See, those are murals. There are also crypts, and I believe... Was this a crypt? No, that was a sarcophagus. That was a... Hmm? Pretty sure I've done a... That's a crypt. Okay. I'm not yet sure, because like I said, I've been skipping most of these, so we would have some to do. Uh, and I'm not actually sure what the difference is between a tomb and a crypt. I wonder. Um, Other than semantics. Like, hmm. Handkerchief. The monogram reads PHF. That has to stand for Percival Harrison Fawcett. Has to. Some out of the of, out of context. That's yeah, like, so <laughs> some of her uh, kind of I don't know archaeological inductive reasoning in this game mm -hmm. 
starts to border on like she sounds like a conspiracy theorist half the time. Oh really? <laughs> like she's looking at like this like featureless stone slab and, and like coming up with these elaborate interpretations <laughs> based on what looks like nothing. <laughs> to the point that like Oh I feel like she's gonna start babbling about chemtrails or lizard people right. at a certain point. <laughs> It comes off as a little bit silly when I don't think they intended for that to happen. Uh, so, yeah, you're out in the out in the jungle. Um, well, I may have looted a lot of this stuff already, but uh, I'm sorry. Is that a capybara? Yeah. I'm oh. Sorry. Oh. But you can you can hunt animals, and there are rare animals which I haven't seen a lot of yet. But uh, see, I got hide and fat from that. Mm-hmm. That's you'll, mostly what they are. You'll notice a lot of icons under inventory down there. I think 21 by my count. Wow. There's a lot of crafting materials in this game. <laughs> a lot. I can't even make out what half this And yeah, is. some of the icons are a little small. For I my see taste. skins. I see some like bolts. You can kind of see some of it there on the legend, but uh, it's a lot Nuts. to collect. And you to can craft. What? To what end? So you can craft healing materials. You can craft uh, this perception plant that kind of gives you sort of like permanent Tomb Raider vision for a while, lets you yeah. see stuff through walls. So you can kind of really see where stuff is. Uh, you can craft like fire arrows, stuff like that. Yep. Um, you need a lot of those for upgrading the weapons at the at the base camps. How many uh, capybaras for a fire arrow? Uh, like eight. Okay. It's really not an efficient. I want to get in that tomb. Let's try this. I want to. I want to. I want to do at least one optional tomb on here. Yeah, please. Uh, Sense you get people up there somehow. I think I can find that. Oh. It's so close. Maybe if I wrap around this way? Mm -hmm. Oh, hey! What do you know? That's uh, not going to take this at all. Nope. Oh, was that something? Yeah, there was you know, the, the big text that. Oh, that's up. just a. That's just a. Poor dead capybara that I can. It's a little, it's a little freebie. Uh, Like even this is the same. Like I, I remember that from the from the previous game. It, mm -hmm. It's good. It was three good whacks with the pickaxe would collapse stone walls <laughs> in the previous game too. It feels very familiar in a lot of ways. Yeah, that's that's the sense I'm I'm getting. Uh, but, I mean, you've had a little bit more experience with this. Like, what exactly is is different? Than um, there's more crafting materials. Yeah, yeah I see that. Uh. I think, I want to say, I mean, it's been a couple of years since that last game. I want to say some of the stuff like the grapple axe maybe is new. Okay. Um, there's, I don't want to get all like armchair game designer here, but there's kind of an issue with some readability in this game in terms of like visual cues for stuff. Okay. Like when I was saying you rely on this too much, like all most of the pickups in the game are so drab and blend, and, and I'm sure they intended for this, but they're so drab and blend in the background so much that you kind of don't notice them unless you use this thing and make oh, a highlight like that. I gotcha, yeah. Uh, or in this case, like, I mean, you know, eventually you would kind of get a feel for what that thing looks like. But totally. They, they rely on, like, this pop-up text a lot, too, to hmm. tell you what to do. Like, I feel like maybe a little more... Whoa! That... Oh. Did I miss a jump? Hard to tell. See, maybe I should focus on playing the game and not... Yeah. ...trying to redesign the game in my mind. Yeah, read this, too. Uh, but you do a lot of this, you know? Like, you do a lot of that kind of thing to... See where stuff is you can pick up. Yeah, uh, there's, there's certain games that. Yeah, that's uh, just I, I would have. I would have liked it a little more if I could have picked that stuff out of the background a little bit better without having to rely on that. And you're right. It may be but, you know with experience you you'll be able to. But uh, like that is a pickup. Mm -hmm. I felt that way in Monster Hunter at first. You know where I didn't know you know the things that I could pick up. And, you know, until the scat flies like highlighted or something. But after a while, like. I could pick that stuff up yeah, you know, sure. without having to highlight it. That's good. Yeah, like I just saw the mushrooms. Yeah. Okay. Oh. This 
might represent one of the lords of Shabalba. You're crazy, lady. It's just fine. Oh, hey. Shibulba. It's a bulba. <laughs> oh, two directions here. Uh, the, um... Yikes. A couple of challenge tombs I have done that I haven't skipped over have been, like, fairly elaborate. For, for little side activities, I'm pretty impressed at the amount of design that went into them. Yeah, that's good. Uh, you got the, the language learning skill again. Like, you okay. find these things and she slowly gets better at interpreting ancient languages and that lets you read certain, like, obelisks. But she can then do little side activities around. That is kind of a cool way of language learning. Yes. Yeah. But again, in, that was something games, yeah. that was something that was in the, the last game, yeah. which is again here. <laughs> um, anyway. Doesn't look like much is that wait, is that where it came from? It's not, right? Oh it totally is. I think it turned around. Yeah. Swimming in this game. Just dive into this ancient, you know, waterway. Hope that there's something on the other side for us to read. Aha! Oh, I thought... Now I can read Mom. I we're learning Amazing. how to tickle someone to death. Now I can decipher prof proficient Mom... I totally... Was I monoliths? Sure. Uh, alright. What do we got going here? Need to raise that ladder somehow. Yikes! That's a lot of uh, stuff lit up. Mm -hmm. Okay... Now. Deal with the carts now. I need to deal with the carts now. Oh. Those carts? What? Mm. Those carts. Oh. oh, yeah, okay, so there's a. Aha! Oh, yeah, the zipline stuff. Yes. Also returning from the second game, yep. you might remember. I do. Let's turn these two things together. Oh. Hmm. Uh, Pull that guy back. Uh, I actually need both lines. I'm not sure that I do. Croft really making a mess of things here. No. Um, okay. Need to lock the left side counterweight in position. Yeah, I know. I'm just trying to figure out how to so, like with that. the cart somehow. How do we get that back up? Yeah. That's what I was wondering. Interact with it. Doesn't look like it. Yeah. Let's take a look at the the right one. How's how's that one suspended? Uh, it's like a pulley system of sorts, right? Yeah. That's what it was. 
Yeah, maybe it's a counterweight thing, but I didn't see anything to interact with over there. Anything in here I'm missing? Oh, sorry. That's just uh, just stuff. Just mats. Need to lock the left side counterweight in position. Can you get up there and winch it up? Uh, let's see anything to climb on. Right. This looked like there was a platform on top of that. Actually, can I get up here? <coughs> like, can. Uh, oh, you climb there? Ah, yes, okay. There we go. Need to lock the left side counterweight in position. Working on it, me. Jeez. Yeah, I don't know why they felt the need to repeat need to lock the same the line of dialogue every single time you use this in these situations. Think this is the way out. Uh, okay, well, I don't okay. Yeah. yeah, there we go. Surprise. All right. Okay, so... Need to lock the left side counterweight in position. Mm -hmm. Should, uh, do something about that. Oh, ah, yeah, here we go. <laughs> oh, well, shit, I should have done that line first. Huh? <laughs> so when I hop off, is it going to go back up? Yes. probably stayed behind and said, I'm gonna look around for stuff while you go ahead, Lara. Let's go hang on this thing. Yeah. Let's Have see. him hang on that while you push that cart under. Is there another way to get up on the left side here? Uh, where's the thing that I used to... It's right there. Mm -hmm. uh. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Oh, uh, shit. Don't, don't go that way. Did I? Also, there's a trap oh. right there. Nice. Ah. How have the uh, truss effects been? Uh. I don't know. Yeah. What do you think? It's not bad. It's okay. When it gets wet, I feel like it looks really fake. Okay. Uh. I understand the PC version does have nice hair, though. <laughs> yeah. Uh. They're. Are they doing ray tracing in that? Uh, yes, the PC version does have the RTX stuff for Crazy. those Force cards, which are not out yet. Um, uh, did I need to... They should send us one of those. Yeah, that would be cool. Fully experience. Shit. The rope snapped. Okay. Shit. This was not the tomb to try to tease our way through on the quick look. Oh, well, it's gonna drop. We've made it do stuff. Can you... Mm. While you're hanging from that, shoot a no. No, oh, I can't. I tried. Okay. Yeah. Hey, challenge tombs, they're in here. <laughs> yep, challenge tombs are here, and you know, let, at the risk of spoiling anything, we we don't want to show too much, right? Let's just, we'll uh, hold off. We'll hold off on, on, on that showing solution. you the uh, yeah. Make uh, sure that you guys experience the uh, the game for yourself. Actually, this is going to be embarrassing <laughs> if we can't. Oh, she can't grab that. It'd be embarrassing if we can't actually get out of the tomb without solving it. We we don't need to, Brad. I feel like we were we were most of the way there. I just I don't want to yeah. make this thing drag forever while we sit here and stare at this thing. Yeah, same. Uh, we found out some things that moved. There is. Uh, if we weren't under pressure, if you guys weren't pressuring us to. The thing people don't get is, out. at least in my case, I am sitting here constantly imagining all the shitty comments. Yep. The people are gonna leave. Yep. As this is happening which tends to detract from your puzzle solving capacity. Mm -hmm. uh, let me just get out this way. I think this Let's, might be the exit. Uh, uh, She's probably right. Yeah. Anyway, like I said, the, the tombs have been, the, the side tombs have been like, 
more involved, I think, than I was expecting. Than even the which is nice. even the second one, because the second one, yeah, we're we're greatly they were they were they were, they were good. The first one. Yeah, they're just maybe were not as many as I wanted. You know, the the teams in like the first one were just like weird side room. Yeah, things. they were very anemic. This yeah, is how for I the first execute. game, this is like maybe one or two things that you have to you know figure out, but. Yeah, I remember them being like just amazingly short. Mm -hmm. Like you could solve them in a couple minutes, from what I recall. You need to lock the left side carefully <laughs> in position. No, no, we, no, we let go of that. Yeah, we're, we're moving, moving on, on with our lives. Uh, <laughs> uh, hey, don't go that way. I guess. All right. Pit, um, pit of piranhas down there. Just wanna, oh no. <laughs> oh no. They really want you, you need to, to lock the left side. Oh no. All right, let's wrap it up. Uh, all right. I think if there's anything else I wanted to... We got more crafting. Right? Yes. Okay. There's a lot of crafting. Hair seems Wait, pretty good. Hair's okay. Underwater stuff looks great. Yeah, the story has not fully grabbed me. I don't feel like it. everything has quite landed for me okay. so far. Be the way out. I feel like yeah, they. It, it was quite a bit of a cliffhanger at the end of the second one, if, if I'm not mistaken. Well, they wrap up the story. Oh, that's Kind of, but then they open stuff up. There, I mean, there is kind of a mid or post credits sequence in that game that sort of leaves things open. Okay. A bit. Um, let me get back to our base camp. Do you feel like you're the Tomb Raider now? Eh, sure. <laughs> but no more than I did in the second game. Okay. I already felt like I was the Tomb Raider there. I mean, that's she rose. Yeah, she rose. Yeah, she, she she got up, man. She she has but risen. Sometimes you and know is the Tomb Raider. I wake up and I'm not fully there yet. Yeah. That's for sure. Uh, and I guess that's oh boy, that's my main question of this. You know, is like, how much different is this over it's, the, the it last is, one? Is it's it? very similar. Okay, it's very similar, but uh, but again, I think the story has not done it for me as much so far in this one. Gotcha. They do. Uh, the reason I wanted to get back to the base camp is that they they do kind of treat Jonah. Your he was kind of a, a non-entity, and uh, I guess he was in the first one a little bit and. Yeah, there, was, there were some moments. He didn't have a lot to do. And they treat him as more of a fully fleshed out character here. Good. Which is kind of nice. And I like Jonah. You do meet up with him. He's in, very loyal. In a second. I feel terribly ashamed that we didn't finish that challenge too. Let it go, man. Let's let it go. No, it, it's fine. Seriously. It'll, it'll be there. I'll go home and do it in two minutes. Yep. Um, I know. Even right now, I'm like, oh, we should have done this. So you know, there, there's hunting. There's those like challenges, like you saw, where it's like, hey, shoot five of these things that yep. hidden in the environment. But um, not the capybaras. All right. Ton, tons of other stuff to find. Crafting. Are the chupacabras? Are those chupacabras? I don't know. Well, so that the, that where you saw those, that was the first time I've seen them. So. Uh, oh really? I actually don't know what's going on. I'm gonna guess they have been unleashed by the awful calamity. Yeah. That I caused when I grabbed that dagger. Uh, all right. Let me. Quit messing with shit. So there, I mean, there, like I said, lot, lots of stuff to do on the sides, uh, if you want to just tomb raid for a bit. Uh, that's there for you. Yeah. Uh, hey man, if the you know exploration's still good, if you know the the tomb raiding in and of itself is is, is better or even yeah, as good. Yeah, it's it's not I'm bad. In, I'm in for another one. This thing has had some rough edges for sure. Okay, how so? Um, I feel like. It's a lot of tiny little stuff. Like any one thing is like barely worth complaining about. It's just that there's sure. enough of them that that it's like eh, it feels maybe a little bit rougher than the previous one. And you said this was a different team, right? Uh, yeah, I, I mean this is Idos I mean, Montreal. Not, not pointing fingers or anything like that. No, 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 no. I mean, uh, this was mostly. I would expect some not necessarily rough edges, but like quirks. You know, it, whenever you switch teams, you like hand that. off. Yeah. Um, I mean, they, I think from the credits in the second one, it looks like they worked on that one as as well. But oh, okay. That one was mainly Crystal Dynamics, and this one is mainly Idos Montreal. The the, the crystal, oh, those crystal, crystal logo is also on this game, so they at least maybe have some oversight. Uh, I think this gets us back into town. Mud. <laughs> Can you roll around it's in it? It's like making making a mess in the mud. Cannot roll. Oh. Also, can't smear it on myself in this what? instance because there's nobody. But in to kill. Like specific. Instances you can. Yeah. When the, when there's somebody there to kill, then yes. Um, oh, we could kill him. Yeah, and then they go uh, they go a little harder on just sort of like populated oh, wow. story areas. Yeah. Like the, there is some of that in the second one. 
A little bit, but not like this. Uh, but this, this is just here's just a straight up town. There are side missions as well. Okay. Omar. Uh huh. They've been working all night. And isn't that what they're paid for? Get lost. Get lost. Shit. No. Now fuck off and let me watch the damn game. What is that? Convention. This guy's sure rough. Would be great. Everything all right? No. It's all terrible. Kicked down the stairs. These pillagers come to town. Yeah, he really shrugged it off. Yeah. Own relics, don't even pay us a living wage. And then they run off with them and profit. We are all desperate here. There's no work since poor Veneer pulled out. We're sitting ducks. This town has been hollowed and out by I a shitty oil corporation. Okay. <laughs> Who kind of came through and wrung it dry and then took off. Underwater. Yeah. I don't know what to do anymore. I have some watch the experience game. with these kinds of people. Maybe I can help. <laughs> I'm good at killing them. <laughs> Did I catch your name? Laura. I'm Victor. If you want to talk to I guess Omar, the, the most interesting tension in the story so far is that pillaging. Laura doesn't really there. seem to care all that much about all the Be careful. devastation in her like wake. Yeah. And Jonah is like, hey, you asshole. Like, I don't know. Let your Jonah be your guide. I mean, like the, you know, this this apocalypse that she has unleashed is kind of making things rough for yeah. the everyday people. Oh, I can't shoot the TV. Piss off! You're spoiling the reception. I'm sorry. What? Omar? Who are you? you? Looking for work? Um. Well, you're out of luck. I've already picked up. We a have job. enough people. Marco's in charge of HR now, anyway. Wait, can you? They have an HR. Oh, uh, can yes, you give me more experience you. points than Do the you other know guy? Where he is? Where else? Huh. Far. I know it sounds silly. Be in the needles. Find someone. Why that? Those sites are dangerous, Marco. Anything can happen. I'm looking for Marco. Why? For what? I just want to talk to him. He doesn't want any trouble. I'm not looking for trouble. I'm looking for work. She looks like work. she's so much trouble. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, sure. So, you're this Marco? Stone Cold Tomb Raider! I didn't send you here to mess with me? If any of those animals hurts my son, I'll... Marco, I'm not with Omar. Believe me. What's this about your son? Polo. I blew up my knee, so Omar took Pablo to replace me at the dig site. Said I was HR now and that it was my job to find a replacement. Otherwise... Otherwise, he'd keep working your son. Yeah, I'm worried he's just gonna keep Pablo up there, even if I bring him someone. Well, it's a good thing you've just hired someone. You? Really? You, you do that? We wouldn't want to disappoint the boss, would we? Thank you. If you see Pablo, please tell him I'm here. Mm. Okay. Deal with the pillagers seems pretty clear. I was gonna say, I, I'm just curious if these side quests end with anything other than you just murdering a bunch of people. But it sounds like maybe no. I've worked at a bunch of small places that, like, nobody knew who HR was. Yeah. <laughs> or if they even had an HR department. Sure. Why'd these guys have one? Uh, how far is that? Yeah, this thing's maybe running a little long. Oh, that's like ambient dialogue about this exact situation. Cool. That's cool. Um, you know, this game's fine. Like, it, there's nothing really bad about it. Mm -hmm. But I've noticed it just is, it is very similar to that last one. I understand, uh, you know, it's, it was always meant to be a trilogy. Uh, I guess so. But, hmm. I just, there was just, there was a really noticeable leap from the first one to the second one. Just in terms of just kind of the structure of the game. And the ambition of it. That? Yeah. I always considered that first one to be oh highly God. ambitious. And well, it was, but... Are you okay? I guess what I mean is I think, I think they carved out more of a unique yes. identity for this it's series okay. with the second one. Your sent me. First one felt a lot more uncharted to me. I'll take care of these guys. Like it was all Thank climbing you. and set pieces and stuff. So yeah, there was much. a lot of that. And again, the second one... The second one introduced more exploration and more tomb raiding. Like, that's basically what it is. I just me. felt that they iterated on it better, uh, you know? Like, they had those puzzle pieces there, it's just they, they did a better job right. in the second one. Uh, but then this one... Polished it. 
This one definitely does not feel like as much of a leap. That doesn't sound good. Uh oh. I didn't see any piranhas in the second game. Mm, that's true. Jeez, man. Wow. That is a violation right there. What the hell got into him? He used to bring us ten people a week. You ask me, it's that brother. I got here's here's some other stealth. Oh, wow. This, kind of what I was saying that. about wow, certain wow, wow. walls being stealthy. Yeah. yeah. Snowflake. It was helpful. That is cool. Yeah. Here even worth it. Oh, black market. True. Almost 100 markup. Whatever we get. Although, like I said, it's you know it's a side quest, so it's probably going to end with just killing everybody. <laughs> Ryan. The generator is broken again. So is your head. Oh no! Got to craft right. some more arrows. A lot of crafting, a lot of picking stuff up, a lot of side activities, mm -hmm. a lot of tombs, a lot of Lara. Um, it's more does, Tomb Raider. How much of that feels like busy work, though? Um, it's hard to say because I've been skipping so many of the side scenes, so we would have some stuff to look at here. I definitely want to... Hello! Oh, it's one of those fancy achievements with the... Wow! The big jingle. I, I like that in theory, but I've played some games... God, that's so long, too. Yeah. Uh, I've played some games where that plays right in the middle of a dialogue sequence, oh. where it really <laughs> is super distracting, but uh, it's still kind of... Fun and cheesy. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, like I, I definitely want to go do more of that side stuff because I have not done it yet. Mm -hmm. uh, none of it is well, with the exception of maybe managing some of these resources because there really are a lot of them. I mean, a lot. But you, hmm. uh, have you ever found yourself in this position where it's like, oh shit, I'm gonna have to go out and like grind or no. like craft a bunch of stuff. Okay. If, if anything, oh hey, <laughs> like now I can make shrapnel grenades. That's cool. Yeah. A can and salvage resources. Sure. Um, that may, that may pop up later, but if anything, you may have noticed a lot of the stuff I could pick up said full. Yep. Because... Uh, oh! Not what I was looking for. I'll go see what it is. Uh, in the butt. Because uh, bow and arrow headshots, incredibly effective. <laughs> yeah. Might be the reason that I... Silent, they're one shot. Still have a lot of my other resources. That makes sense. Because this is... You can't hide behind your gun. So oh. effective! Wow. Yeah. Jeez. Uh, huh. I know. Pretty satisfying. No shaming. Oh, Jesus! Also works. Need to get back to the village. I feel like I remember an animation very much yep. like that from the second game. Uh, okay. I dealt with the pillagers. Gather your things and go back to the village. I'm your HR Thank department you now. For everything. Go ahead. Uh, what have we here? Don't just pull the knife. You, haven't knife you learned? Cheap yeah. Of those you would think. <laughs> she might have learned her lesson about disturbing ancient knives. Uh... All right, last thing. I don't want this quick look to be a million years long, but I do. Uh, let's just go say hi to Jonah real fast. Yeah, just because I mentioned him. What's that dude up to? Um, Besides going, yeah, I'll hang back here and check stuff out. Or right, you, you, you go in that wall there, where the spooky noises came from. Like he actually has his own opinions in this game <laughs> and perspectives on things. And not just, uh... Is he the little Jonah on her shoulder? Kinda. Yeah. Sort of. But he's not, he's not just there to do plot things, uh, as in the past, so... That's something. Um... Mud Tech is pretty good. Not bad. It's a good looking game. Pretty good Mud Tech. Yeah, well, you know, I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm, I, I'm... Sounds harsh, I was gonna say, I'm not hating it. Like, it's, it's fine. Yeah, so uh, you know it's it's pretty solid. Just not a lot of uh, radically new stuff. Maybe the story will take you there. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm hopeful. I'm gonna keep going with it and see mm -hmm. see where things go because it is uh, pretty satisfying to raid these tombs. 
Yeah, like I said, if even if it's, it's on par with the uh, you know the the last game. I'm, I'm not. I'm in for more. I'm not convinced of that. Yeah. Oh really? Okay. We'll see. <laughs> I hope so. Jonah. Oh, I can't run now. You know something serious. Oh happen. shit. I've had it not trigger a flashlight. I don't think it's supposed to have one here, but there have been spots where it seemed incredibly dark inside a tomb. Hmm. And then I like I would die on an obstacle or a trap and then restart and then she would turn her flashlight on. Oh. So either that was a bug or they were taking pity on me and saying, hey, now you can have some light. Loading screen pops tired. up. You want to turn your flashlight on? <laughs> we notice that you're dying a lot. Wait. Is this not where they want me to go? Oh, did he say he was downstairs? Why are they trying to keep us from Jonah? I don't know. Walk faster. That's right. I took the wrong turn. Jenna! Hey. Have you been down there? We were waiting for you. Yeah, you were. What do you think we'll find? The mural showed a series of trials. There's a trucker out over there. Oh, that's Addy. Yeah, he's a local. He's helping us out. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, uh, yes. Man, why don't you go? <laughs> How okay, I'll convenient. Uh, we'll we'll get you on the other side. We have to split up again. I, I seen you again, John. Oh, it is a hidden city. Oh. Whoa! Wee. Ooh, the lolly. Why is the dive button not working? That's interesting. Oh, cut a dough. Man, cool. that is, that's that's nice looking. Good looking water. Yeah. I I I haven't seen it on PC, but I bet, I bet it looks real good there. Can you imagine that with ray tracing? Uh, yeah, I would like to see that stuff. Not thirteen hundred dollars though. Yeah. Oh my god, that- This seems like maybe it's not an ill- not a, it's maybe perhaps an ill-advised thing to do. To wedge yourself into a tiny- Yep. Provas. Underwater. Me out. Oh god, get to go, that. Go, go, go! <laughs> I'd say. Now. Uh, Alright, I'll, I'll just get to the other side of this and then we'll, we'll be done. So you can see what the next story area looks like. Yeah. Oh! Ah! Lecture gills! Jump, jump. Ouch! Uh uh. Get him with the shank. That's right. Motherfucker. See, I would be like going back. Now, oh, oh getting no. that air. Oh. Go, 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 go. Go. Oh, see? Go. Uh, I don't know how dank that air is. Just trapped air. Get the, uh... Ah. Just want to make sure I get here without drowning. Get the perk that lets you breathe underwater. Yeah. Or not breathe underwater, I'm sorry, but it extends your... your... Uh, grow gills. Yes, perk. I think that hair is fine underwater. Yeah, it's okay. Well, it's more when she gets she out. She gets out. Okay. Cinch up that ponytail. Jonah, I've come out in some sort of cavern. There are signs that people have been here. <laughs> Jonah? Jonah's napping. <laughs> that knucklehead. Jonah and Trucker Hat are out. Getting lunch. Uh, they, there was definitely some very clear romantic yeah. kind of stuff going on there. <laughs> Between Trucker Hat and yes. Jonah? Jonah. If you can hear me, well, yeah. I they spend a lot of time on the path alone. Yeah, they don't have a lot to do while they're waiting the for top. her to raid tombs. Yeah. Like, literally, the first thing she asks him as you are walking off the first time you meet her is if. if you want to do it? You will know if, if you and he are together or Oh, okay. She just. And he's like, no, 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 nothing like that. So. Yeah. <laughs> Me and her? <laughs> I'm kidding. 
She's a murderer. Uh, there's, I think the repelling might be new. That I kind forget. of seems new, yeah. I can't remember. Yeah, I know the grappling hook was in the last game, for sure. Ugh. I don't know about repelling. Okay. Incredible. Jonah, I'm at the next trial. The Eagle. It has something to do with the wind. <laughs> she has her own ideas about things. Okay. She seems to be able to make a lot of a little. Okay. When it comes to reading yeah. ancient inscriptions. Clearly, it's the trial of the Eagle. Interpreting. It has something to do with wind. Yeah. The trial of the Eagle. She's very well studied. <laughs> very well read, let's say. Uh, anyway. Just wanted to get here to illustrate that uh, there's a lot of tombs in this game. Yeah, that looks there's a lot of raiding to do. Which, pretty. Uh, but not a lot of combat, huh? So not, far. Not that I've seen. Yeah, so maybe far. I bet I bet they do ramp it up a bit later on. Wouldn't surprise me if they're having you craft all these different yeah, types of weapons. Yeah, and yeah, shit. yeah, yes, they're still introducing stuff to make and, and as things heat up, I'm sure. But, uh, Ooh, cool. but yeah, like a lot of elaborate old machinery. Still standing and, and, after centuries of earthquakes and storms. You know, a lot of uh, puzzles to solve, tombs to raid. Yeah, that looks fun. It's, uh, it's more of that. I'm down for that. Yeah. All right. It's out now. All right. I'm going to go eat the tomb there. All right. 